Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you this beautiful uh, shawl pattern. It's very beautiful and so simple. Only two rows repeating. Uh, so fast crocheting. It's you can use every yarn, uh, every type. You can make it uh, more wider. It's your choice. You can uh, choose which you want. I use in that sample. Nako Mohair Special Romantic It's 10% uh, of mohair, 10% uh, of wool, 3% of metallic polyester, 77% of premium acrylic uh, One ball is 100 grams and it's 540 meters um, You can wash it, not ironing directly and it's recommend us using 2.5 millimeter hook but in that shell I want to more softer so I use a 4 millimeter hook if you want to use this kind of quality yarn you can use uh, nearly one and one and a half um, number big hook I recommend you if you will use this kind of quality yarn but double folded uh, this time you will use not 4 mm uh, you will use nearly 5.5 mm or 5 mm uh, which you want to choose but um, it's the key point not uh, using the on the labels hook number you will use a uh, big number okay in my channel uh, so similar shawl I have here in my channel I put here now uh, this a uh, little a little difference from it and I want to show you one more time uh, this kind of shawl because its color gets so dark uh, on the video and I uh, couldn't show it's perfect I couldn't show it so good so I want to show you uh, one more time a little difference from it you can find it here if you're ready we can start to crochet our two rows repeating simple rectangle shawl let's start to crochet uh, you will need for this pattern multiples of 10 chains and plus uh, four only one time I have here 64 chains and its width is nearly 30 centimeter with 4 millimeter hook and um, this 1 grams yarn is 540 meters yarn this quality yarn and I want to show you a little yarn a cream yarn and I want to show you it's more good first of all make a slip knot then make your chains multiples of 10 plus 4 1 2 3 4 I want to make five. a sample and I have here 30 chains and plus 4 1 2 3 and 4 yarn over and skip 1 2 3 chains and insert my hook from the fourth chain grab my yarn pull through to pull through to yarn over insert into same stitch grab my yarn pull through to pull through to yarn over insert into the same stitch grab my yarn pull through to pull through to I have here three double crochet in one stitch then chain one yarn over and insert into the same stitch and make three more double crochet one two and three chain three one two three count from here one two three four skip insert into the fifth one grab my yarn I have two loops pull through two and make a single crochet 
Then again chain one, two, three. Yarn over and skip four again. One, two, three, four. Insert into the fifth one. Grab my yarn, pull through two, pull through two. Make a double crochet. Then yarn over and insert into the same stitch and make here two more. One and two. So I have here totally three double crochet in one stitch. Chain one, yarn over and insert into the same and make here three more double crochet. One, two and three. Chain three, skip one, two, three, four, insert into the fifth one and make a single crochet. One, two, three chains, yarn over, skip one, two, three, four, insert into the fifth one and make three double, one, two, three, chain one and make three double crochet more in that stitch, one, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three, four, skip, insert into the fifth one, make a single, one, two, three, chain, yarn over, one, two, three, four, skip, insert into the fifth one, and make here three double, chain one, and three double. Yarn over and we left here one stitch, make here a double crochet, as same as the starting, you can see here, skip three and insert into the fourth one from the beginning, count as the first double, then make our shell and make three chains, skip four, insert into the fourth one, then chain three, skip four and come to the fifth stitch and make three double, chain one, three double. This is the end of our first row now we are on the second row chain three and turn your work yarn over and we have here chain one space i insert my hook from here grab my yarn and make here three double one two three chain one and make three more here. One, two, three. Then insert your hook first chain three space, grab your yarn and join with a single crochet. Then chain three, insert into the second chain three space, grab your yarn and make one more single crochet. Then yarn over and come to chain one space and make here a shed. Three double, chain one, three double. Always shells as same. You do always three double, chain one, three double in chain one space. Then come to chain three space. First of first one, make a single crochet chain three insert into the second and make one more single crochet you make here a chain three space then yarn over come to chain one space and make here one two and three double chain one and three double Come to the first chain one space and make a single crochet, chain three, insert here and make one more single crochet. Yarn around, come to chain one space, make a shell, three double, chain one and three double. Yarn over and insert your hook from the last stitch and make a loosey double crochet here chain three and turn your work before at the end of that second row like that 
chain 3 and turn your work we are on the third row yarn over and we see here chain one space I insert here and make a shell again three double chain one and three double this time only difference in two rows from that space uh, line I have here chain three space make here before come here make three chains insert into the chain three space make a single chain three yarn over and come to the chain one space and make a shell three double chain one and three double I see here chain 3 space chain 3 insert my hook chain 3 space only one chain 3 space I have and I will join with a single crochet chain 3 and come to the next chain 1 space and make here 3 double chain 1 and 3 double chain 3 insert into the chain 3 space join with a single crochet chain 3 come to chain 1 space and make 3 double chain 1 and 3 double yarn over and insert into the last stitch make a loosey double crochet this is the end of our third row you will always repeat the second and the third row I will show you one more time the second row on the fourth row you will always repeat these two rows and you should grow up your shawl scarf or which you want to make with that pattern chain 3 and turn your work we do the same thing on the second row always shells as same as 3 double chain 1 and 3 double and this time we have here 2 chain 3 space so first I will insert into the first chain 3 space and make a single crochet chain 3 come to second chain 3 space and make a single crochet then come here and make here a 3 double chain 1 and 3 double I see here 2 chain 3 space insert into the first one make a single chain 3 insert into the second one make a single crochet yarn over and make a shell 2 3 chain 1 and 3 double 1 2 and 3 insert into the first one chain 3 insert into the second one and make a single yarn over insert into the chain one space and make a shell chain one and three double insert into the last stitch and make here a loosey double crochet chain three and turn your work this time you will repeat the third row again make a shell three double chain one and three double one two three this time you will see here only one chain three space so you will come here with chain three insert into that space and make a single then chain three yarn over and make here a shell
you will always repeat these two rows. After that, you will see here two chain three space. So first insert here and make a single, then chain three and join with a single crochet. Then not make any chains and directly start with a ch uh, making shell in the chain one space. Always repeat the second and the third row and grow up your shawl which length you want if you want to use a, a rectangle shawl or scarf you need minimum uh, two uh, not minimum nearly two meters it's your choice uh, and if you want to make a scarf 30 centimeter is enough but if you want to use a, like a shawl rectangle shawl you need nearly 55 and 60 centimeters okay hope you like this tutorial if you have any questions please leave me comments and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can reach me on instagram on facebook on pinterest and on etsy as the same name crochet with gigi hope to see you in new videos have a nice day bye bye